Hi there. After this lesson, you should be able to sketch and analyze a qualitative graph. But first, what is a qualitative graph? A qualitative graph is simply a graph that doesn't use numerical values. For example, this graph shows the relationship between the distance a bicyclist travels over time. Since there are no numbers, we cannot get specific data. However, we can analyze this graph. Just tell a story. Just by looking at this graph, I can tell that this bicyclist traveled the furthest at the start of his journey. After all, if we compare the first line to the axes for distance, we see that it goes the majority of the distance, whereas the rest of the graph takes him only a fraction of the way. And take a look at this horizontal line. I see that time keeps going, but he hasn't traveled anywhere. This means that the bicyclist was stopped, perhaps taking a break. And lastly, he is moving once more, but this time the line isn't as steep. This tells me that he is traveling at a lower speed than before. It could be that he is going up a hill or maybe just tired from his trip. Wow, we gained a lot of insight into the situation without any numbers. Let's take a look at another example. Instead of analyzing the graph, though, we'll be working backwards to sketch the graph. So let's read through our story or the analysis first. An airplane takes off at a constant speed until it reaches maximum altitude. It must immediately fly to a lower altitude to avoid some turbulence. It stays at this height for a while until steadily descending to land. Okay, we know that the airplane first takes off at a constant speed until it reaches maximum altitude. We can draw a line starting at time of zero that is increasing. There are no numbers, so just use your judgment as to where to stop. All right, next the plane must immediately fly to a lower altitude to avoid turbulence. To continue our graph, we will draw a line that is slanted downward, or decreasing to show the drop of altitude. Great, now the airplane stays at this height for a while. This means the plane isn't flying higher or lower, so we can draw a straight line to represent this. Lastly, it steadily descends to land. While descending, the airplane reaches a lower and lower altitude, so we can draw another line that is decreasing until it reaches the bottom. Okay, it's your turn. The graph below represents the speed of a school bus that stops frequently to pick up children. Analyze the graph by describing the change in speed over time. Go ahead and hit pause so you can work out this problem on your own. Okay, let's tell the story of this graph. This first line shows us that the bus is accelerating. It then drives at a constant speed before slowing down to a stop. The part where there is no graph tells us that the bus is not moving at all, likely to pick someone up. This happens a total of three times. In our analysis, we will summarize. First, the bus driver accelerates to a constant speed before slowing down to a stop. The bus driver does this three times. Good. That is a good analysis, but what about other questions that we can answer? Can we make an educated guess on how many children the bus picks up from this graph? Sure. We see the bus stops three times, and so we can safely presume that the bus picked up three children. Next, what if I told you that one of the kids almost missed the bus? He was late, so the bus driver had to wait a little longer for him to come out of the house. Which child am I talking about? Well, I see that the time the bus driver spent stopping for the second child was much longer than that of the first child. So I would say it was the second child that almost missed the bus. As you can see, there are many ways we can analyze a qualitative graph. Good job! Mm -hmm.